the, the work that was published in Nature shows that for the, first, for the first time, we were able to grow heart muscle cells in the dish, and, the, and these cells beat in the dish very nicely, grow them up in a large enough scale that we could use them potentially for human uh, translation, to treat humans with heart failure. Currently, as cardiologists, we've become pretty good at using drugs to slow down the progression of heart failure. And we've become good at, at treating heart attacks as they happen. But we can't replace dead heart muscle. And that's where the stem cells come in. They actually replace dead heart muscle with beating living heart muscle. And other stem cell types have been used as well. But um, those stem cell types don't have the same heart muscle forming ability. They, they generally don't contract in the dish like ours do. You can see these physically beating robustly. And, and that's the main difference. The cell type that we're using definitely forms heart muscle, and we've shown that this heart muscle can replace dead heart muscle. You can see that the pump function of your uh, main pumping chamber is actually really quite good, which is great news. The implications the of using stem cells to treat um, dead heart muscle after heart attack or heart failure could be enormous. At the moment, the only cure we have is uh, heart transplantation, but many people probably know there are not enough organs to go around. What people often don't know is that many of our patients are sick, and they, for other reasons, for lung reasons or some other problem, and they're not actually candidates to be referred for heart transplant. So with stem cells, we could deliver them by a minimally invasive procedure. We could extend this, the treatment to many other patients who would not have otherwise had the opportunity, and we could potentially one day have a cure for heart failure.